Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, December 30th. I'm Marv Eisen, and today we are coming down to the last final stretch of 2021, and what a year it's been. So we start today by looking at the economic calendar, and for today, December 30th, initial jobless and continuing jobless claims are in, and the numbers are not surprising, so not nothing market moving. Uh, moving over to the morning news, uh, there's nothing remarkable today. I'll continue and I'll repeat what I said yesterday uh, on my last video, and that is that the S&P is going to lead the NASDAQ for the first time since 2016. And I'm a believer that tech leads the market. So that's a harbinger, perhaps, of things to come. Moving along, this is yesterday's chart, and here was the, the Taylor Book Method calculation for the trading zone for yesterday, uh, resistance at 48.21, and support down here at 47.86. But notice that uh, yesterday, the market traded just about at the close of the previous day, of Tuesday's close. And this is a repeat of what we saw on Tuesday, where the market traded basically in a, in a narrow range, although it did narrow even more uh, yesterday, on Wednesday. So the market traded basically at the close of the previous day. Remember that we trade, we came, we came, traded at an all-time high on Monday. Those uh, gains have not been given back, so we're, we're trading just about at the high of the year right now. Moving along to this morning, and I have Taylor's numbers calculated here, and I send these numbers to students in my e-mini trading course each day. Uh, I send these numbers out for support and resistance, and this is the this represents the trading range, and that trading range is calculated using Taylor's numbers. Today, the mark the prices are trading just about at yesterday's close down here at forty seven eighty three, and I always put a line on my chart to indicate yesterday's close, and I would expect that the market is going to trade down to the close of yesterday, and from where where it goes from there, well. Question is, have we seen the high of the year having been put in already, or is there more room to this market? Well, to answer that question, let's go to the big picture. And I have the E-mini, the, the S&P chart. This is the daily chart of the S&P. And I have a, a, a trend line set up from back in August. And you'll notice where we are right now. So we are just about where the market looks to be out of breath here. Notice that we have, let me zoom in here. Let me zoom in here make this a little bigger. Let me zoom in here. Notice this harami over here. Now, uh, haramis are uh, reversal patterns and there's bullish and there's bearish, but reversal patterns. And in order to have a reversal, you have to have something to reverse. Now, of course, we have this big rise up from, oh, down here at 45.34, and we're trading up here now at a little over 4,800. This is something that we should, that I keep an eye on, and I think the market, if we do have uh, a little more steam left in the market because the trading guards want to put in a high at the end of the year, mm, could happen, but nevertheless, the market for the past two days has shown hesitation. And yesterday, if you notice, the low of yesterday exceeded the low of the previous day. So that's something to consider. And also the high of yesterday did not exceed the high of the previous day. Keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, today we might see a little more hesitancy to move higher. Nevertheless, I don't expect any blowout day today as we had, uh, certainly not on Monday. At any rate, as always, trade safely. Use a lot of patience. This is Marv Eisen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.